continuation, I've already posted a set A lecture coming from my other class of Archie 3 of the uh, analysis or determining the degree of determinacy of a truss. So, ganun ulit yung gagawin natin dito, but ibang set of problems naman tayo. Then, kayo rin ang magbibigay ng type of truss na gusto nyong isolve. Then, bigyan nyo ako ng load na gusto nyong ilagay doon sa truss system na yun. But first things first is for us to solve some series of problems determining the degree of determinacy of a given truss. So for instance, if I have this kind of truss system, Having a hinge support at this joint and a roller support at this joint. First, you need to do is, of course, to plot off the joints that you can identify within the given truss system. So, ilang joints yan? We have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay? Now, anong susunod natin ay gagawin for us to identify whether this given truss system if it is a simple compound or complex truss, is indeed belong to a statically determinate truss. Paano yan? Anong kailangan nating hanapin? Interact. People, interact. From our previous example, ano yung una nating i-identify? Ako po. The number of reactions within the given truss system. Do we have the number of reactions? Not yet. Dahil ano yung mga supports na meron tayo? Meron tayong hinge sa joint A and meron din tayong roller sa joint E. So, what are those reactions? So, basically, if you have a hinge support, you have a horizontal vertical reactions. AH and AV. And only vertical for the roller support. That is... RE. So, how many reactions? Uh, there are three reactions. How about the number of members within the given truss? Ilang members yan? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, M represents the number of members. Then, joints. How many joints? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 6. So, J is your joints. We have 6. How do we determine now whether the given truss system is determinate or indeterminate as well as its degree of determinacy? Remember our formula. If R plus M is equal to 2J, therefore, the given truss system is a determinate truss. If R plus M is less than 2j i is greater than 2j therefore the given truss system is indeterminate and if r plus m is less than 2j therefore the truss system is considered as unstable and will have to reanalyze or reconfigure the joint connections that we have considered in our truss system so filling up the formula we have r plus m that is 3 plus 9 equal to 2 times the number of joints 6 that is 12 equal now to 12 therefore this given truss system is a determinate truss with zero degree of indeterminacy. Nakuha yan? Yes, sir. So, randomly, bigay tayo ulit ng bagong example. We have number two, random. Oh, magbigay lang ako ng kahit ano dito. So, for instance, I have this truss system.
hindi pantay. Basta, okay na yan. So for instance, we have this trust system. To identify, let, let me try placing a uh, hinge. Okay na lang magsabi kung saan nyo gustong ilagay para mas maganda. So lagyan ko muna ng joints. B, C, D, E, F, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, and N. So we have those joints. So saan nyo gusto lagyan ng support at anong klaseng support? Hello, people. Hello? Saan nyo gusto? This is just for the sake of an example. No one is telling that the whatever uh, support that you will be giving later on is good for the structural design of such trust. So, example lang po ito. For the sake of applying the formula in determinate degree of determinacy. Give me a support at which joint and which joint would you like to place them? Roller E. Sure ka? So, ilagay natin dyan. That's a good that's a good location, mister. So, paano natin ipi-place yan? Against the wall. Hindi naman pwedeng uh, vertically. So, dito yung ating surface. Saan pa? Dalawa pang support. Sige. Hinge, roller, B. O, oh, asan? Anong ilalagay ko sa B? Hinge roller. Okay, lagyan ko na lang ng hinge. Against the wall. Then, para mas maganda, lagyan ko ng roller sa G. And isa pang hinge sa point A. Okay, para at, at much, as much as possible stable siyang tignan. Okay? So, we have a hinge against the wall at joint B and joint A. And a roller at joint E at this location. And another roller at joint G. So, first things first is for us to identify the number of reactions. Plot natin yung ating reactions. Of course, there will be horizontal vertical for a hinge. That is your BH and B, V. Horizontal, vertical for hinge at joint A and another on the horizontal. And of course, perpendicular with the surface of contact, that is your R, G and R, E. Okay? But, by the looks of it, it be, uh, by the looks of it, as a structural engineer later on, if you're going to pursue structural engineer, this is basically unstable or uh, basically a uh, uh, not typical type of trust system or support analysis of a trust system. Kasi kung maintindihan mo yung uh, motion ng iyong trust, whenever there is a load passing through it, whenever there is a load applied through it and so forth and so long, more or less, you'll have to recon reconsider and redesigning your supports on this one. Okay, number of reactions, we have 2, 4, and 6. 
Number of members. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So we have twenty-two members. How about the number of joints? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, using our formula, we have now our plus m, which is 6 plus 22. Equal now to 2 times the number of joints, 15. 22 plus 6, that is 28. So 2 times 15, we have 30. So, meaning this is not equal. Our plus m is not equal with 2j. Such that R plus M on this condition is less than 2J. Transposing the 2J on the other side, we have 28 minus 30. Which uh, definitely uh, which definitely give us the value of negative 2 degrees. And nagpuproof na tama yung sinabi ko that this particular uh, substitution of uh, supports is considered an acceptable type of supports for a truss system. Basically, it is telling us that our given truss system, which kayo ang nagbigay ng supports, are unstable or is now unstable type of truss system, which has a negative 2 degree of determinacy. Okay? So, you'll have to reconfigure or reanalyze the uh, placing of your uh, supports and as well as the number of members. Okay? Next example. So, for instance, meron tayong ganito. So, ano ba magandang example na indeterminate? Uh, ito na lang. Then, identify your joints. You have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Then, meron tayong joint dun sa cross bracing na H, N, I. Meron ito. Nabigay ko ata yan. Ayan. So, we have here a hinge support at joint A. A roller support at joint F and another roller support at joint E. Nakikita na maayos? Nababasa yung sulat ko? Yes, sir. So, let us first count and identify or plot the reactions within the uh, given supports. We have a horizontal vertical for the hinge at joint A. Reaction at the roller support of joint F and another reaction at the roller support on joint E. So we have 2, 4. Number of reaction is now equal to 4. Number of members 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 members. The number of joints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8 members. I 8 joints. Substituting that to a general formula, we have 4 plus 15 equal to 2 times 8. 
So, 4 plus 15, 19, equal to 2 times 8, which is 16, which is also not equal. Therefore, this is not a determinate truss. So, if it is not a determinate truss, determine whether R plus M is greater than or equal to 2J. So, as you can see here, R plus M is, of course, greater than 2J. Then, let's move on on computing with the degree of determinacy by subtracting R plus M with 2J. That is simply equal now to 3. Tama ba? Binilang nyo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190
Pali. Maubusan ako ng oras. Dead load Caesar. Downward, upward. Downward. Yung upward, downward, no? For the sake of example, wala ka naman makikita ng dead load na upward, eh. Diba? Maliban na lang kung yan ay wind load of uplift force for aircraft engineering naman na po yun. Kung uh, magka-consider tayo ng uplift force. Pero with that, downward C. Magay tayo ng dead load daw. Anong value? Anong value? Ano po? 16 po, sir. KN. 16 kilonewton? Sure ka? Kilonewton na? Ayaw mong gumamit ng ibang unit? Para maiba naman. Pwede bang kips, sir? Sige, kips. Kilopound force. Ano pa? Isa pang dead load. Isa pa, isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Sir, sa F po. Upward, downward. Sir, downward. Value? 32 po. 32 kips. Isa, uh, how about uh, live load? Live load. Live load. Saan nyo gustong ilagay? Sige, lagyan na rin natin ng live load sa joint C at joint F. Lagyan nyo ako ng value. Hello? Sa joint C, ilan lalagay natin? 4, sir. Sige, 4 kips. Sa joint F? Sir, 2 po. So, for instance, later on, you have encountered a uh, uh, load on a particular joint in an inclined position, such as this one. Minsan, meron tayong ganyang load. Let's just say that is your force F, a uh, force B, at an inclined angle of, let's just say, theta. So, paano nyo yan ngayon isosolve? By, of course, determining the horizontal and vertical component of such force. Kunin mo lang yung horizontal FB and vertical FB. Then yun na lang yung gagamitin natin later on to moment at a specific point in solving the reactions at the support and solving also the bar forces on each member and so forth and so long. Then as an additional on this given example, Let us try to add a uh, wind load, horizontal, para maiba naman. So, yung isang example, puro vertical eh. Lagyan natin ng horizontal wind load. Traversing this uh, face section of uh, member ABBC. Uh, let's just say a wind load of uh, 1.5 kips. And another wind load at joint C. Of uh, another 1.5 kips. Okay. Para maikli na yung solution natin. Pero wag nyo na lang tong gagawin dun sa magiging assignment. Pag yung assignment merong dead load, live load, wind load. Solve them separately. Analyze the truss system using only the dead load, using only the live load, and using only the wind load. Then, uh, perform the load combination analysis. What if dead load, live load? 
What if dead load, win load? What if dead load, live load, and win load? And determine which of those load combination gives you a much higher and much critical type of loading combination. Then from there, decide which type of load combinations should you refer to whenever you are designing the sections the plastic capacity the tensile strength and so forth and so long to categorize the dimensions of the given truss members then if it is going to be a steel a timber and so forth and so long so for now pagsabay-sabayin na lang muna natin sila as a general rule Dead load, live load, and wind load basically gives us much more of a maximum load. So we have here dead load and live load, a total of 20 hits. And another dead load and live load on this one, which is 34 hits. Okay. Then, hiwalay naman na si wind load. Ayan. Okay. There are two ways in which we can solve this particular truss system basically on its bar forces whether they are in tension or in compression then of course the uh, reactions at the given joints uh, reactions at the given support you can either solve this one with us uh, using method of joints or of course method of sections for instance if the uh, unknown in the problem or the question in your problem is for you to determine the bar forces at member BD DF and FD. So N solve as well the uh, reactions at the support. So kung method of sections, we still need to dissect a specific number of members, then perform FBD analysis or free body diagram analysis to lay out whichever uh, member should we solve first among those three para mas madali sa section. Or you can use the second method, which is the method of joints. With method of joints, start solving at a joint where there are only two members that are unknown or two bar forces which are unknown. So, hanapin niyo yung joint na merong dadalawang member lang ang unknown. Okay? This could either be a complex truss or a simple truss. Kasi pag simple and complex truss, both of them can be analyzed both by, by method of joints and by method of sections. So, either the way. So, dahil method of joints pa lang naman tayo, hindi pa natin nadidiscuss yung method of section, dito muna tayo. Method of joints. Saan sa uh, truss system na yan, merong joint na mayroong dalawang member that has two unknown bar forces. Sa ang joint? Sige po. Those are joint A, joint E, and joint C. Right? So, can we immediately solve the bar forces AB, AF, FE, DE, CD, and BC? Pwede na ba natin nilang isolve ngayon na agad-agad? Pero kung makulit ka, pwede mo nang ma-solve actually yung member BC at CD. Kasi so, yan lang naman yung forces niya oh, sa joint na yan. But, you can no longer start, uh, you cannot solve member BA, uh, AB and ED, AF and FE without solving first the reactions at the support. So, we need first to identify the reaction at the support. So, how do we do that? For the reactions, saan nyo gusto mag-moment? A o E? Sa E, sir. So, summation moment at E. Kaso, wala pa tayong dimension. So, lagyan muna natin ang dimension. Let's just say, uh, 6 times 12. That is 12,172. Tama ba? Ma. 72. Hindi, mali. Kasi 6 meters, 6 times 3.28, times 12, we have 230 
seven inches. One steel member has a maximum length of uh, six meters. Convert that to inches, we have 237, roughly 237 inch. Bottom members, 237 inch. Height of the truss. Let's just say that is also 237 inch. Then 237 inch. Para kips per inch yung ating uh, unit later on. Okay? So kung yan ay 237, horizontal vertical, therefore the inclined members has a horizontal vertical axis of 1 is to 1. Tama ba? Tama ba? 1 is to 1? Yes, sir. So 1 is to 1, then the hypotenuse is square root of 2. Then kung parehas yan, of course, this is also 237 inch. Then that is also 1 is to 1. Square root of 2, square root of 2. 1 is to 1, square root of 2. Then of course, 1 is to 1, square root of 2. So kaya na lang po maglagay niyan later on. So pag uh, sa exam, uh, sa quizzes and exams, syempre ibibigay ko naman yung mga dimensions. Horizontal, vertical. Then the inclined member, syempre susolve niyo yun. So, so for the reactions at the support. Sabi niyo kanina, we will now moment at joint E. Okay yan, kasi para maiba doon sa isang example. Summation moment at joint E. What are the forces that if we moment to joint E, it is now an equivalent value of uh, kips inch. What are the forces going point E? Those are your load, dead load, live load combination, wind load, and the dead load, live load at joint C and joint F. Where those forces moving clockwise towards point E should be positive, while counterclockwise should be then be negative. Unahin natin yung dead load and live load. How far are your loads from joint C in joint F sa point E? Ano sila kalayo? Ano sila kalayo? 237 inch. We have 20 kips times 237. Is it moving clockwise, counterclockwise towards point E? Clockwise, counterclockwise? Clockwise or counterclockwise? So it is now moving counterclockwise. Therefore, it should be negative. The other one is 34 kips. Is it moving clockwise towards point E or counterclockwise? Siyempre, that is also counterclockwise. Negative 34, the same distance of 237 inch. Okay, how about your wind loads? Wind loads are acting horizontally or on the horizontal axis. Is it moving clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. So both of them are moving clockwise towards point E in a vertical distance. Oh, vertical distance. Baka pagbalik na rin ninyo, gamitin nyo yung horizontal distance, ha? Ito yung reference natin for the moment of the wind load. So, clockwise, positive, that is positive 1.5 towards point E, yung nandito na load. That is 237 plus 237, 474 inch. Then, the other one, towards point E, plus, plus 1.5 of 237. Meron pa ba tayong idadagdag? Ano pa ba yung mga forces na nandito sa diagram na pupunta, papupuntahin natin sa joint E? That is your vertical AV 
which has a total distance of 237 times 2. Moving clockwise or counterclockwise towards point E? Clockwise. So, moving clockwise plus AV total distance 474. Equal now to 0 to put the system in equilibrium. Simplify. Negative 20 times 237 minus 34 times 237 plus 1.5 of 474 plus 1.5 of 237. Ilagay ko ba lahat? That is equal now to negative 11,731.5 plus AV of 474 equal to 0. Simplify, transpose to the other side and divide both sides with 474. So cancel. We have the vertical reaction at the hinge support of 24.75 kips. So, yun na yung ating vertical reaction. Para mas madali, makuha na natin kaagad yung reaction at the roller support. Basically, summate lang natin yung ating summation forces vertical. All the vertical forces acting on the given thrust system. So, summation forces vertical such that Equate that to zero to put the system in equilibrium. All forces going up is positive. So what are the forces acting on the y-axis? We have AV confirmed to be positive upward minus the dead load found at joint C of 20 kips downward. Then the dead load and live load at joint F downward of 34 kips. Then lastly, the other vertical force is your RE of upward equal to zero. Substituting 24.75 minus 20 minus 34 plus RE. So RE simplify 24.75 minus 20 minus 34. That is negative 29 transpose 29.25 kips. Okay? Nakuha yan? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Meron pa ba tayong natitirang unknown sa reactions? That is, the horizontal reaction at the hinge support. How, we do, how do we do that? What are the horizontal forces acting at the x-axis within the given thrust system? Those are only your wind loads. So, yun lang yung gagamitin natin. So, we have the summation forces horizontal along x-axis towards the right positive. So, AH was initially assumed positive towards to this side. Ito yan. Then, wind load 1.5 positive plus the another, another wind load sa joint C of 1.5. Equate them in equilibrium. We have AH three or transpose we have negative three kips so meaning we'll have to change the orientation of your reaction at support uh, hinge so, palitan natin yan dapat daw to the left just simply to contradict of course the effect of wind load Ito ngayon yung ating wind load. Ay, yung ating horizontal reaction. Nakuha yan? Yes, sir. Now, for us to determine now the bar forces on each member. Try lang natin isolve yung dalawa. So, we have... Let's try with joint A. Using joint A, we have a roller at joint A. 
connecting two members, which are your member AB and member AF. Okay? Don't forget the parameters. 1 is to 1, square root of 2. Then, of course, the reactions at the support. AV is 24.75, positive. AH is negative or 3 hit to that direction. Again, if you are not yet familiar with free body diagram and di mo pa kaila, and di mo pa masyadong memorize yung global coordinate system at saka local coordinate system, of course, you'll have to, uh, you'll be needing to plot your components of a bar uh, member. Okay? So, paano yun? The vertical component of AB, dahil nga inclined, that is horizontal vertical component of AB, which is AB, 1 over square root of 2, and another AB of 1 over square root of 2. Magvavary yan ha, pag hindi 1 is to 1 yung horizontal vertical axis mo. Okay? Then, that is basically your forces along X and Y axis. So, you can simply identify on our free body diagram at joint A, which are your vertical forces, which are your horizontal forces, and so forth, and so long. Okay? So, basically, summation forces, vertical lang yan, at saka horizontal. Hindi mo na kailangang mag-movement. Maliba na lang kung yan ay method of sections at uh, method of joints. Okay? By summation forces, by summation forces vertical, pasensya na, binibilisan ko na, dahil maubusan na ako ng oras. Summation forces vertical equal to zero, upward forces positive. What are the forces acting at the vertical axis? Those are only the vertical reaction at the hinge support of 24.75 kips, and of course, the vertical component of AB that is also going upward. Initial assumption natin lagi whenever we are uh, an analyzing the bar forces on each member connected in a particular joint is that they are all acting in tension. After confirming later on whether they are really in tension or in compression, that's the time we'll have to change the orientation of the arrows or basically just carry the sign, negative or positive, and so forth and so long, which you will be countering that later on again on the example set A. So, summation forces vertical. Kalimutan ko, AB, vertical component, 1 over square root of 2, equal to 0. Transpose to the other side, therefore, AB is equal to 24.75. Divide both sides with 1 over square root of 2. Nasusundan yan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, <laughs> we have 24.75 over 1 of square root of 2. That is 30.002 or 35, roughly 35 kips. Pero sa solution nyo, later on, please use at least 3 decimal places. Ko at least 3 decimal places. If you, can ex if you cannot express them in fraction, express them in 3 decimal places. Okay? But if you can express them in fraction, fraction please do the fraction or do the the one which has pi or which has square root and so forth and so on. Like this one. Roughly, that is 99 square root of 2 over 4 kips. So, for instance, dapat yan yung magiging answer ninyo. Okay? Then, the summation forces horizontal. What are the forces acting at the horizontal axis of the given joint or FBD? We have the 3 kips or the horizontal reaction at joint A. Going to the left, that is, of course, negative so always to the right positive negative then a b uh that is supposed to be negative so negative negative therefore this is in compression once the value or the bar forces identified on a given member is in negative therefore the assumed direction of your member a b is incorrect so, initially, in natin siya na tension. Tama? Dahil lumabas na negative, kailangan natin siyang palitan na compression. Okay? Or, carry lang natin yung sign once we move on to the succeeding solutions. 
para hindi na tayo papalit-palit. I-carry nyo lang yung sign. Naintindihan po? Okay. So, negative 3 kips. Then, positive yung horizontal component AB. 1 over square root of 2. Ito yan. Then, the unknown member AF, positive. Equal to 0. Substituting all known values, AB was identified to be negative 99 square root of 2 over 4 times 1 over square root of 2. Gives us a plus AF equal to 0. Negative 3 plus negative 9 square root of 2 over 4 times 1 over square root of 2. That is negative 5.25 or AF is equal to positive 5.25 or 21 over 4 kips, which is in tension. So, it turned out that AF is in positive sign. Basically, tama yung ating assumption na siya ay tension going to this side. So, yan na yung ating AB and AF. Okay? So, with that, you can immediately now solve the bar forces at joint C, which are BC and CD. Then, solve the internal members. So, tapusin lang natin yung nasa joint C. So, at joint C, We have dead load of 20 kips and a wind load of 1.5 kips. Joint C. Then remember, 1 is to 1 lang din naman yung member natin dyan. Are there any other forces applied at joint C? Wala na. Basically, ganun ulit. Summation forces vertical horizontal. Kung hindi pa rin kayo sanay, plot nyo pa rin yung horizontal vertical component ng mga inclined members. This is your uh, BC. And this is your member CD. So we have here, roughly, magkakaroon ka ng two equations to unknown. Mas madali na yan. So summation forces vertical. Summation forces vertical, upward forces positive equal to zero. What are the vertical forces applied on our uh, joint C or the diagram for joint C? We have here all of them are downward. Negative BC of 1 over square root of 2 and negative CD of 1 over square root of 2. Then your dead load and live load of negative 20 equal to zero. Okay? Mm, simplify, transpose to the other side, we have negative, negative, multiply both sides by negative 1 para maging, or ganyan na lang. That is your equation 1. Wala ka naman masasolve. Both of them are unknown, BC and CD. So move on to the second axis which is your horizontal, equal to zero to the right positive. What are the forces acting on the positive axis, uh, what, acting on the horizontal axis? We have your wind load to the right positive, 1.5. The uh, horizontal component of member BC and CD. To the left, BC. Ito. 1 over square root of 2. Then to the right, CD. Positive. Of 1 over square root of 2. Equal to zero. Solve simultaneously. If you know how to solve them simultaneously using your calculator, feel free to do so. But of course, show your complete solution. So, dahil wala na akong oras, using your calculator, BC and CD. 5. 2 equations to unknown. 1. Okay. 
is negative 1 over square root of 2. And negative 1 over square root of 2. Transpose negative 20. We have positive 20. Then negative 1 of square root of 2. And positive 1 of square root of 2. Then transpose of negative 1.9. Positive units, uh, negative units. There we go. Okay. Simplify. Show your solution, giving us the value of BC, which is negative 13.081 kips. And the value of CD of negative 15.203 kips. Both of them are in compression. Okay. Nakuha yan? Okay. Low, 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 low. Diyan pa ba kayo? Yes, sir. Nakuha. No. So, nasolve na natin si member AB AB AF, BC, CD. Okay, para matapos na, solve na rin natin itong dalawang member na to. BD and uh, BF. Going to joint B. What are the forces applied at joint B? We have your wind load of 1.5. Again, para di na tayo nagpapalit-palit, assume all bar uh, members connected at joint B acting in tension, but carry the sign if you have recently identified them as compression or tension. Then, BF, BD, and BC. This is your member BC, your member AB, BF and BD. Okay? Of course, meron siyang horizontal vertical component, horizontal vertical component, and horizontal vertical component. Lagay ko na lang para makita nyo. Horizontal vertical. Horizontal, ay, vertical horizontal. Vertical horizontal. Okay, then horizontal lang naman si BD. So, with that, we can simply do with the uh, summation forces horizontal para masolve natin kaagad si BD. So, summation forces horizontal. What are the forces acting at the x-axis with joint B? To the right, positive. We have your 1.5 wind load. Then, AB, AB, horizontal. 1 over square root of 2. Then, the horizontal of BF. Ah, ganun din lang pala. 2 equation, 2 unknown pa rin tayo. BF of 1 over square root of 2. Horizontal of BC of 1 of square root of 2. And the unknown BD. Equal to 0. Simplify na lang natin, substitute yung nasolve nating value ng AB, which is negative 99 square root of 2 over 4. Tsaka si BC. 1.5, negative. Carry the sign, kasi hindi natin pinalitan yung direction ng arrow. Negative 99 square root of 2 over 4 times 1 over square root of 2. Unknown si BF, 1 over square root of 2. BC, nasolve na natin kanina which is negative 13.081. Carry the sign. Thirteen point zero eighty one. Negative 13.081 of 1 of square root of 2 plus BD equal to 0. Simplify. 1.5. Combine all constants. Minus negative 99 square root of 2 over 4 is 1 over square root of 2. Plus 
negative 13.081 times 1 over square root of 2. That is 17. So BF of 1 over square root of 2 plus BD equal to positive 17 transposed to the other side negative 17. So ito yung ating equation 1. How about equation 2? Summation forces horizontal, so summation forces vertical naman. Upward positive. What are the vertical forces? We have uh, tawag na dito, AB downward 1 over square root of 2 then BF downward 1 over square root of 2 then BC upward of 1 over square root of 2 equal to 0 ay madali na pala nag vertical na lang sana ako kanina so AB is negative 99 points uh, square root of 2 over 4 times 1 over square root of 2 minus BF of 1 over square root of 2 then BC is negative 13.081 times 1 over square root of 2 equal to 0. That is 99 square root of 2 over 4 times 1 over square root of 2. Simplify nyo lang. Minus 13.081 of 1 over square root of 2. Then that is negative BF of 1 of square root of 2. Plus 15.500 equal to 0. Transpose, divide both sides with one, negative 1 of square root of 2. We have BF, negative 1. Divided by negative 1 over square root of 2. Of positive 21.921 hips. Then, which is in tension. Substitute natin sa equation 1 to solve BD. Kaya na lang maglagay ng solution nyo. Substituting, we have BD equal now 21.921. 21.921 times 1 over square root of 2. 15.5 transpose minus 17. We have negative 32.5 kips for member BD, which is in compression. Diba? Kung method of Tensio, a method of joints ang gagamitin natin, ganyan kahaba ang inyong solution. E paano pa pag uh, nasa 36 members, 40 members, tapos gusto mo ng joints dahil yun ang pinakamadali. Ganyan ang gagawin ninyo. Pero kung method of section at nasa gitna yung unknown, ah, we'll just have to dissect this members. Dissect this members. Roughly 3 members only. Maximum of 3 lang ang pwede nating i-dissect. Then, summation moments. We can definitely solve these members later on. Okay? So, yan lang naman po. Question. Question.